welcome to another episode of ASS, Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Effie West, reaching your life and direct from the heart of Africa. If this is your first time on this channel, you're welcome. Please subscribe to this channel. This is a place where we talk about pure, undiluted African spirituality. We talk about the deep subjects in African metaphysics. We talk about ancient African history and subjects that are very deep, difficult and complicated to talk about. Today, I'm going to be doing a book review, my second book review on this channel. And the title of the book I'm going to be talking about is uh, the book called The Court and Devotion to Santisma Moriete. Satan Moriete. Yes, this is a very, very powerful, serious book. Okay, it is written by a guy called Akana Tetin. That is not his real name. He don't want people to know his name. He's not interested in popularity, wealth, or fame. He just wants people to know the pure truth about Santisma Moriete. This is a deity that has been very, very uh, obscure and uh, controversial and scary due to the depiction of the deity. And uh, it's a deity that many things have been said about and people don't really know much about. There's a lot of syncretism between the deity and the Catholic Church and the Catholic religion and the origin of the deity many people don't know as well so these are part of the reasons why the author wrote this very book the author that wrote it is an original Mexican and a descendant of the people that actually have been venerating this God since the beginning of time and uh, so far, of all the books that I have read about Santisma Moriete, this very book is the, I think it is the most deepest one of all of them. Because it really goes to the origin of the deity with a lot of uh, scientific evidence, a lot of uh, etymological evidence archaeological evidence, well-documented evidence to prove this fact. And uh, there is no uh, contesting that this is a book that I recommend for everybody that wants to know more about the deity. The deity Santisma Moriete is uh, original to the country of Mexico. And uh, these are the people that have traditionally been venerating this deity for thousands of years, as far back as people can remember. This deity originates from the Maya and Aztec traditional uh, cultural and spiritual system. And uh, it is a deity that is responsible or in charge of the realm of death. We can say that the deity is a god of death. It is not a demon. It is not an angel. It is a god. A complete god, a deity that is stand-alone deity that is on its, is on its own. And uh, it equals to, it's totally equal to life. We have two main principles of so duality in this planet which is life and death okay this deity is in charge of anything that we die anything that have a lifespan that we aspire this is the deity in charge of that very thing and uh, what the book uh, the deity have made us to understand is that death is not something that people should be afraid of that uh, death is uh, a proof of life and uh, evidence of life 
and a transition. It is not an end point. It's like a gateway to be reborn to a new life. So it's not a something that people should be running away from. It's something that you should should accept as a reality, as a fact of life. Something that must happen to everything that is living in this life. So it is something that we should draw close to in our lifetime so that we can have more understanding of the process and we can be able to prepare ourselves for that pro process. So it is not an evil deity. It is a deity of nature, a natural process, something that is evidence. Without death, there will be no life. So it's just a gateway, the cycle of reincarnation. And it's a very, very uh, powerful force on this earth because this earth, everything, every living thing must die. Okay, so that is what the book has been able to let us understand. So the people of our ancient Mexico, the Mayans and the Aztec, they have understand this principle for a very long time and they have been in close uh, relationship and affinity with this very principle and they have been able to develop a, a working system with the principle how to work with this principle and how to activate it so that they can be able to live their life to the fullest so venerating this deity we are knowing this deity or trying to know more about this deity we bring you to this knowledge of how to live a good life, how to live your life to your best capacity or to become the greatest version of yourself on this life, how to appreciate the importance of every moment, every seconds you have on this earth and how to live a just life that is full of uh, productivity. The deity is not a evil deity, it's a deity of justice. Every action you do must have a corresponding reaction. So the deity does not judge, does not discriminate. It is not a deity that say that uh, this is only a rim, it's only limited to the people of Mexico. Everybody that is under the influence of death, the deity controls them. So, and anyhow you want to live your life, the deity supports you, will not judge you, but every action that you do, you will always have that recompense for the action because at the end of the day, the scales must be balanced in the earth, equilibrium. And the scale symbol is one of the symbols of the deity. Okay, everything is balanced, nature must be balance so the deity is very fair and uh, from reading this book I have been able to understand so many things about life and uh, so many things about death in knowing more about death I have become more alive to my responsibilities and what really matters in life and the book is so full of wisdom. The wisdom in this book that was written in the pages of this book is going to last for thousands of years because whoever wrote this book, he wrote it from his heart and it is evidence in the in this world. This book is packed with so much power, so much. This, this is not an ordinary book. I am telling you, this. if you read this book, your life is going to change. Your life will never be the same again. Okay, I have read the book. This is a book I hold up since July. I have been waiting for this book since July for some unexplained reason. It was delayed due to the COVID outbreak. I have not lost hope that I will get the book. I was just surprised that uh, last week I checked online. I saw that it's already arrived. It has even arrived since August. For some unexplained reason, the postal agency did not update their uh, tracking system. So I quickly, quickly went there, I purchased the book. There are two of them actually. I'm just doing 
the first book review because I have completely read the book and uh, I want to tell you my opinions about the book. Whoever wrote this book is a very a person of deep understanding and uh, he wrote it from his heart and it's evidence and the words are packed full of power. Everything you need to know about Santisma Moriete is here in the book. The original way to venerate her, to worship her, to do the rites, devoid of all religious uh, syncretism. This book is for people that want to venerate Santisma Moriete in the original way she has been venerated by the Mayans and the Aztec people before the colonizers came to Mexico, before the Span Span Spanish came. This was the original way. So this book is for deep people that want to take the veneration, they want to take it seriously. It is not for doublers. It is not, even doublers cannot work with this book because the process and the system that is incorporated here is uh, a bit tedious. Even for me, some of the materials listed here, I cannot get it in this country. But I will try my best to do what I can be able to do. Because I really want to go to the extra lengths with this deity. This is a deity that actually seek me out on her own. I never actually looked for her. But somehow she just came into my life unexpectedly. And uh, she, since she came, she has been present with me. And uh, we have been, she has been here. So this deity is not an ordinary deity. There are certain things that uh, happens when you come in contact with this deity. It is, she's not for everybody because our walking and our paths the dead part is not an easy part, so I don't think she we answer to people that are not really serious with their life. If you have not taken a serious step to take your life seriously, I don't think you will ever come across uh, Santisma Moriete until you decide to take your life seriously before this deity will appear to you. So she's not for everyone. But if you feel called by her, you can take the next step to know her. And uh, I highly recommend this book because there are so many books out there. Most of them are filled with the Christian syncretism, uh, the rosary, the prayers, all sorts of uh, things that you need to buy, candles, all sorts of charlatans, uh, pimping. Uh, merchandise all over the world for you to buy telling you once you buy this everything will be all your problems will be solved blah 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 stuff like that it is not like that you need to flow from the heart you don't need to buy all those expensive items you don't need to break the bank you don't need to spend money because you want to know more about Santisma Moriete okay this book goes into in-depth uh, analysis of of the court of Santisma Moriete and uh, how to venerate her. So it is a deity of justice. I used to think this deity was an African deity actually because we have so many deities uh, in Africa, so many that I have not even been able to go through. I was used to thinking she's part of the uh, Santaria Pitium. But I didn't really take uh, much step, much uh, look into her until this year. After I did about uh, more than a month med meditation to Kali. After I did that meditation, she just appeared out of the blues suddenly. And uh, little did I know that this very country that I am, Cape Verde, they have a national holiday uh, like Mexico to the, the Day of the Dead, November 1st. 
It's a national holiday. I just know about this fact, just this November. I never knew that they have that kind of holiday here, that they actually uh, shut down the country to venerate their dead and they take it very seriously. So our spirit is very, very present in Cape Verde here. Yeah. But I don't know if the people actually know, but they are venerating her unconsciously. So she's very present here. So I think that is part of the reason why she contacted me. Because her spirit is here. She is a god in this very land here. She's very, very present here. So she might have seen me meditating and decide to show herself to me that she's here. So this date is not something to be played with. If you have to do a, an altar, you don't put any other deity on an altar, on the altar. She's a standalone deity, she's a god, the god of death. She's not a demon, she's not an angel. You should know this. And uh, her practice should be for only serious people. Okay? It's not a deity that you can manipulate to get what you want, then you just forget about her, or you can deceive. She does not play. That is what I have been able to learn from here. Death is a very, very serious thing. Okay? So, it's a deity that I will recommend for people that are interested in knowing more. Uh, there are many things to learn from the deity. So many things to learn from. We are we learn from that. Okay. So the book came in the mail. It came with uh, three of the statues of the principal primary colors of Santisma Oriete. You can put on your altar the white, red, and black. The black is for protection. Color symbolize protection for darker workings with her the people venerate the black the white is for purity peace love for uh, harmony then uh, the red is also is also for and also be for love loves worldly and earthly desires satan moeti believe that uh, we should not waste our time on this earth we should live life to the fullest and uh, she wants her devotees to be happy and she wants their life to be balanced so every request that you ask her if you ask her in good faith in honesty and sincerity she will grant those requests to you so when you order this book you are going to get these three status with the book then uh, it also came with an altar cloth, which also came with the book. I got this altar cloth, and this is uh, a Chanel CJ, the original Chanel, Chanel CJ that uh, was given that you can use to contact her. So you have to put this in your altar and you have to focus on this during your veneration. So you get this and uh, you get this status and you also get some extra items uh, like gift cards or things you can use to maybe hold the books. This is the publisher, the name of the publisher, Luna Negro. They have a Facebook page. So if you want to order, you go to their Facebook page and you order this book from them. Okay. The book is worth it. The price they are selling it uh, is totally worth it. Okay, but uh, not more than thirty dollars. But even if they sell it for more than that, it's worth it. It's a book that you're going to read, you're going to pass on to your children, because the wisdom contained in the book is uh, very much okay. It got some items for for you, beautiful items that you can use for whatever you want to use it for. So I cannot say enough about this book. Because it's just too much. You need to read it. Okay, you need to get a copy. This is the kind of books that you want to get. 
and uh, the book itself is a gateway it is not an ordinary book okay it's not an ordinary book it's not a regular green wall this is a very this is a book of power this is a book that you want to read and you want to pass on to your children it's a codex okay it's a codex this book is going to last thousands of years and it will be relevant the wisdom in this book is going to be relevant for the next 20,000 years so if you can get your hands on it it is so highly recommended okay there are many things I want to talk about the book but I don't want to give too much away you just need to get your own copy and uh, you will thank me later but you don't need to thank me you thank Santisma Moriete and also thank the author for writing such a powerful book which is much needed in this time and day okay so this is what I have for you today get your copy and uh, you want to know the truth about Santisma Moriete this is the book you need to read I have never seen a deeper book than this one and I don't think there will even be another book that is deeper than this one okay so this book I recommend for you okay so I wish you a very wonderful day like and share this video questions and comments are welcome and uh, I will see you in the next video take care and bye